Hi guys, I'm Arthur, the editor of Digital Camera Magazine. Today, Panasonic launched a new G series, and today I happen to be in their office. This is the new G9. This is uh, bigger than G85, slightly smaller than GH5, much lighter, much more lighter than GH5. What is this uh, G9? Where, where does it sit? GH5 is currently their flagship unit, so the G9 sits just below the GH5. Okay, first let's look at the exterior of this uh, G9. The first thing you're going to notice is this uh, red ring. So this is the first time that we see uh, a signature in a Lumix camera. I have asked them about what is this red ring, they just say it's uh, something new. Let's, let's, let's uh, watch out for that. The electronic viewfinder covers 0.83 view with uh, 120 frames per second refresh rate. So basically, there is no blackout for high-speed shooting. See this? This is, I have not seen this for a very long time in a uh, mirrorless camera. Uh, I'm not sure if they are the first one, but definitely this status LCD on a mirrorless camera is the biggest I have ever seen. The grip is awesome. It has a good grip and it's lighter than GH5. Battery. It uses the same battery as the GH4, GH5, and now G9. If you just take photos, it's one charge. Probably it might last a whole day. And just now you notice that this red ring here, and if you go closer to zoom in the lab a look, it has a, a dial for you to choose a single shot, burst one, burst two, 6K photo, some timer stuff and time lapse. Yeah. Okay, the G9 has the same uh, button layout as the GH5. We have the exposure button, the ISO and the white balance. You will find a very useful joystick here for you to shift focus on the fly. When sometimes you need to shoot videos, you still can find um, microphone jacks here, um, the earphone monitoring, and it has the standard HDMI output. You can charge and provide power supply to the camera using the power bank. This synchro button uh, allows you to shoot in the studio using the flash uh, synchronized cable to, to control the, the whole studio flashing environment storage. Um, let's see, dual SD card slot. You have five function button and one uh, function level here. Very useful as well. Let's talk about the pixel size. So this is a 20.3 megapixel micro four thirds sensor without low pass filters. If you think 20 megapixel is not enough, this camera has a mode that allows you to shoot up to 80 megapixel in super high resolution mode in this camera. Do check it out. It has 225 autofocus point, the same amount of focus point like the GH5. This camera paired with new IS lenses uh, gives you up to 6.5 stops of uh, image stabilization. No excuse for blur pictures anymore. 6K photo. Uh, the sensor allows you to shoot your photo in 6K movies at 30 frames per second and each of the frame you can take it out as a single image of about 18 megapixel each images. 6K photo churns out JPEG images only. Just so just to take note. Let's talk about how fast is this. Uh, if you shoot in a single focus mode, it can shoot up to 60 frames per second. Pretty fast. All in raw file. So if you are the who shoot at night and the, the LED screen, which is too bright for you to show, it comes with a stealth mode. Panasonic calls it the night mode. The night mode means uh, the screen become red color. And even though the viewfinders change to red as well. So just not to distract your subjects. This camera comes in silent mode as well. If you have a very large and good Lumix like car lens, like the F1.2, if you are shooting in a bright daylight, it can shoot up to 1 over 32,000 of a second. So it is pretty fast. 1 over 32,000 of a second can fully utilize that lens at a very large aperture. Generally, all the 
best stuff in GH5 video has been taken up in this model. This is more tweaked to the photographer who appreciate photo more than video. This is a weather sealed camera, so it's tough. Uh, of course, you pair with a nice lens, so it can go totally weather sealed. One more thing. This is a new lens. It's a 200mm fixed f2.8 aperture lens, so it's pretty heavy, solid, and uh, yeah, nice for portraits. And the best thing is what it comes with the 1.4x teleconverter, so it gives you further reach. What can this lens do? Super portraits with super bokeh uh, sports. With this teleconverter on, your reach will go up to 560mm range. This converter, so far it works only with this uh, 200mm f2.8 Leica Lumix lens. When paired with this G9, it gives you up to 6.5 stops of image stabilization. If you think 6 function button in the body is not enough, if you have this lens, you have the extra function button here. This lens function button, so what can you set here? So when I check the, the setting, most of these functions are tweaked to work with the lenses related functions. There's this word called memory call. So generally, it can memorize where you shoot. When you shoot at this point and it goes somewhere else, you come back, you just press this button, the, the setting comes back. I'm not really sure, I have not tested it yet, but look out for our review on this. This is what we have today. The G9 and the 200mm f2.8 Leica lens. So if you guys want to ask anything, just, just uh, feel free to buzz me. So I'll, I'll try to find out some answers for you guys.